Yeah. So which one should we start with? We're, starting We're with gonna Microsoft. start off with Microsoft and first then one. first <laughs> and then EA. Wait, then uh, what, what would your opinion be? Is Microsoft or EA the worst? Uh, um, we'll get on that later, I think. Yeah. It would be more, it would be better for us to talk about who did that at the end. So um, anyone that was um, living under a rock this week, it goes, that, that pre-show from Nintendo, which helps introduce um, Ubisoft's, Nintendo like, actually they had, showed off. Nintendo had several different shows over the course. Yes, they, they, they were all over the board with this. I mean, they, they just needed a lot of time to show off a lot of stuff. It's especially considering that they were going balls to the wall with the 3DS at the same time. They also, they had a new system. They had, and the new system, it's not like a regular system. So they had to, they had a lot of time they needed to show that up. Yes. And I think they did pretty good for what they had. Anyway, um, so it goes, it goes Microsoft, EA, Ubisoft, Sony. They did four, those four in one day. Then they had Nintendo, press conference. Then, Yesterday, Nintendo had um, a software yeah. showcase for yeah. the 3DS. All right, so let's start with uh, Microsoft. Can you take that away? Uh, yes, uh, since I'm, since I was the only one who watched. Well, I actually, I just watched everything because yeah. I'm a poor college student and have time on my hands. I kept uh, I kept up with it, but I didn't really watch watch it. Yes. Before, so I can I can add in some input, but please. pretty much um, if if I um kind of remember what they went over. So they started off with Halo 4. So pretty much the fourth entry of a dead series. It's a series um, that is getting way too many spin-offs. I, I don't think it's really a dead series, but the fact that Bungie left it... The, I think the fact that Bungie left it behind... Well, you you it, gotta remember that Halo it, used to be the biggest thing ever, and then now with Call of Duty around, you barely ever hear a Halo anymore. I... Well, I, I think they. I do agree that after yes, after Bungie left, they should have stopped it, but they didn't. And um, it, it should be interesting to see what you know Halo ends up like post Bungie. Yeah, at least. So they, they so they started off with Halo, and then they went off into some EA games, some like sports games. It's like, oh wow, cool. Um, you can see I'm huge on EA. No, um, then they showed off some trailers for more, some more games, including Gears of War, Judgment, yeah. the fourth game. I heard, that, yeah. I heard that they um, showed off Tomb Raider. Oh yeah, that but that's later on. But yes, they they showed off Tomb Raider sure. and um, Resident Evil Six. So there oh, was the sure. highlight. Those two right there is just the highlight of Microsoft's stuff. <laughs> it's a shame. It's a shame though because both Resident Evil Six and Tomb Raider are going to be on PS3. The third party, yeah, the, the, the third party titles. But it, they, it, they it's, were... it's a shame. That's a shame. I mean, it's good to see that they did get you know some stuff out Wait, there. What's so Tomb Raider? Did, because Resident Evil Six is Capcom. Ah, frick. Um, let me look that up real quick because I honestly cannot remember off the top. So while he does that, I'll go into more coverage. Um. Then they talked about how, the, so they're, they're changing up like the home menu type stuff, so you can now yell at your Xbox in more languages. <laughs> um, they're bringing more entertainment. Crystal Dynamics. Crystal, Crystal Dynamics. Dynamic. Tomb, Ra Tomb Raider. Um, so now you can, um, you have more things that you can do on your Xbox so you can like access like ESPN now. And... So now you can yell at your Xbox in French, so you can watch your ESPN in Spanish <laughs> or something. I don't know. Um, I think it's an, I, I think it's a neat idea, but at the same time, the Xbox it's already got. I've I've actually used an Xbox 360 plenty of times before. It has a lot of features to it. I mean, a lot. It's actually kind of hard for me to navigate through sometimes, but it's. I think widening it out a little bit is maybe a decent idea, but I don't honestly see why like I something tells me most of the people who would be interested in watching ESPN on their Xbox 360 would probably just be better off playing a Madden game on their 360 anyway so I don't know. and then um, either that or they're just people who can't afford a satellite or cable <laughs> <laughs> then, then they showed um, 
Nike's new training program because we need a new fitness thing. So this is a uh, this is like pretend it's we you uh, we fit, but with like a, this like wristband type thing instead, and, and you're using but, Connect. And it's a shittier frequency. So and then they um they shut off. They went into this uh, cool. The, I'm going to say it's cool, though it has it does not pertain to me in one bit. Um, called like the spotlight feature, or glass looking glass. Um, I think it's the second one where they uh they were you can use your um tablet and your smartphone and your Xbox 360, like you can inter intermix them together type stuff. Wait, so my, my doorstop. Yes, your doorstop. Um, so now your doorstop can be used for more than just stopping your door and receiving texts <laughs> and spam calls. Um, so pretty much what you can do is while you're watching a show, the example they gave was Game of Thrones. So when you're watching Game of Thrones, you can pull out your tablet, the tablet you already own, <laughs> and you can um, look at uh, you know, information about the show. Or you can use the smartphone you already own mm-hmm. and, like, record something. Or you, you, so you can use the smartphone you already own or the tablet you already own and use that to um, access features for games, too. Like, showed off more of Halo 4. Showed off. If only I yeah. had either of those things. <laughs> if only I, I had. I, I basically brought up a blog that meant that went into depth about Microsoft's conference. So I'm trying to. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> well, I'm going into depth. Okay. So without, without your without your silly technology, and then they showed off um, the uh, South Park. It's an RPG. <laughs> um, I actually yes, I heard about that actually. Um, it's actually written by the writers to the theater. Yes. So. And then it should um, have all the same. What? I said it should have all the same humor as the show. Right? Yes. Um. And they brought those guys out, and then they were like, "So we had we had to find someone who can make shitty graphics, so you mm-hmm. know it could look like the show." <laughs> oh, okay. That's that's what they that's what they said. Yeah. And they, then my uh, video back froze back. up for a bit, so I uh, so you I didn't mean, get like it. stop and, motion or cardboard cutouts. Yes, pretty much. But um, when they came out, then my after they said it was uh, where they had to find someone who could make like uh, shit graphics, and then they found someone. Then my video started to crap out, so I had to reload. And then when I got back on, they were walking off stage. So after that, they showed off. Um, they showed off Angry Birds Medieval Edition with Connect. Pretty much, uh, well, minus the whole Angry Birds thing, but that's it's the concept. It's one of those where you catapult something and you destroy something, and castles and stuff. Animal abuse. Well, minus animals. All. Oh, yeah. yeah the, the, it was just it, like it, you just waving your arms around, and stuff like that, and that's then that that racketeer game. Yeah, racketeer. It's Angry yeah. Birds medieval edition. <laughs> Basically, and then probably some more shit that I didn't care about, and then oh, they... no dance three or something. Oh, oh yes. Oh, how could I ever forget Usher? Yeah, <laughs> yeah they brought out that? Usher. Who's Usher? Yeah. Um, a wasp. Okay. Some guy that used to be a really good hip hop artist that no one really pays attention to anymore. It's pretty much. And some guy I still don't pay attention to. Some yeah, in, in your case, it's some guy that you never paid attention to. Yeah. <laughs> Middle and, of the woods. Uh, see, how, how could I ever forget that? <laughs> and then they also showed off uh, Call of Duty Black Ops Two near the end. Black Ops Two, and then um, I honestly, had to go to class. The only, Black the only, the only thing I thought was interesting about Black Ops Two was the fact it was like at first I was like, okay, what is it this time? And then I see fucking mechs. I'm like, what? Yeah. Oh, that reminds me. There was a Facebook. Uh, picture, it was like a Facebook comic, and it said, um, ideas for the next Call of Duty game. 
and then there was like this group of people, and then sh- showed a piece of paper, and it said, "Shoot people," and then it just had the group of people, and they had all these like serious looks on their face, and then the next th- panel, it said under "shoot people," it said with new guns, and then it showed the people again, and they were like in shock, like oh my god, I the, really? I, I, I think I prefer really the giant in. robots. Yeah. But that that was pretty much Microsoft. Overall, I was pretty bored most of the time and until they brought out, you know... Tomb Raider and Resident Evil. Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider was actually... It looked really, really fun, yeah. really good. She was, like, going around. She was just, like, bone to the face, bone to the face, shotgun, boom. <laughs> like, I, I, from what I gathered, there was, like, a couple small parts where Microsoft showed some beats and stuff, but they spent most of their time showing off stuff that no one... None of the people that really were dedicated to E3 probably really cared too much about. And so. then, you know, they showed off Resident Evil 6, and it was just Leon, and he's just like, boom, 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 rolling on the ground, boom, stealing this helicopter, driving it into a motherfucking train, choo-choo, motherfuckers! <laughs> yeah! And then Crash yeah, the then, plane into a building, jump down, like, horde of zombies. Like a boss! Yeah, like a and bomb. then you shoot, your, you shoot yourself when you notice there's zombies. Like, like a boss! Right, Do you think Six it. took a, a note from Revelations? Yes, at least for the Leon part, right. from what I've seen. So, just being boss. Alright, so, any thoughts on Microsoft Conference, or are we going to move on to all? Uh, just fuck it. Just fuck it. The, it was, it, from what I gathered, a few decent announcements, nothing too special. Microsoft's really not impressing at E3 lately. I really remember was, when I... Resident Evil is my only remember, highlight. I remember that I watched their 2010 conference, conference, and they just, and their 2011 one too, and it was not entertaining at all. Like they were just showing off really boring stuff. Like they have their, they have those moments each year, but especially with the Connect lately, they just talk about Connect, Connect, Connect. They're kind of really just shoving it down people's throats. Like if they had just ignored Connect altogether, and they had just showed off more real core stuff, if they even had it. Um, I think it probably would have been more interesting. If they had taken the entire conference and removed everything that was before Tomb Raider and after Resident Evil 6 and just extended that, it would have been fine. (laughs) Yeah, at at this point, no one really cares about Halo anymore. 